Hello guys, welcome. Sun sign reading time. Hello and welcome Taurus, it's sun sign reading time. As we know, past, present and future have all caught up with us and we are ending an era to begin anew. Let's see what's going down. Oh, there's already a message here. Loss. We know that Mars is <clears throat> coming to clear out what's lower vibrational and help us have more of our enlightenments, our expansions. You're feeling without, you're feeling disconnected because you feel disconnected to your passions and that's not allowing you to let go and connect. But something, the cosmos are here. The moon is here with the gift of your passions. Back. The gift of your passions is back. The way. And it's come out reversed. And either way, it's trust or pray. This is just your way. This is your way to letting go to your third eye activation, back to your passions, back to the light. But it's through the darkness. You're creating through the darkness, through the loss and sorrow. But you're going home. Withdraw. And of course you're going to feel withdrawn after the loss and the sorrow. We know you're trusting, you're praying, you're making your way, your divine blueprint. We know we're, we're following our divine blueprints right now within. But this has to do with you connecting to something that's always been there for you. You know what? Something or maybe someone or people that have always loved you or cared about you or always connected to you you've always connected to them they're there for you they love you it's just you've disconnected from them you've withdrawn from them and you might not even see that you've withdrawn from them and you may be like yo why am i so disconnected from everybody but it's actually because you've actually disconnected from everyone from your actions from what you're feeling within your loss and you maybe not even being able to find your own way right now. But this is part of your path. Because you're moving away from stagnation. The gift is here. The gift of your passions. Thanks to the three moons. Ooh. And as I say that, look at that. enthusiastic and there is the gift of your passions and you're creating with life force energy and you're expanding here and you're you're you are going to connect your abundance and you're going to your harvest you'll harvest and there it is there you are king of discs determined and you're back on your path we know that's what this is about right now you're going to achieve success and create stability here of the light and walk through. You're going to find your way. You're literally finding your way here because you're going to connect to your spirituality, your higher self. And there you are, the Hierophant as well. So now here you are again. And guess what? You're transforming here. And now look, we have fortune. And then 10 of cups, you're back in flow. You're singing your song. You're singing your authentic song. You've activated your divine blueprint within. You followed your path. There's the gift of your passions. And there's your 10 of cups. Woo, I love it. You're going home. All right. See what's being activated. Oh. 
What the frick? Love Frequency and Genesis Pattern. So Love Frequency, Self Love, Soulmate Connection and Genesis Pattern, Planting the Seed. And one of them is number three and one of them is number 11. Now, this is incredible. This is all about loving yourself. All about self-love, self-acceptance. How do you talk to yourself? How do you treat yourself? How do you look at yourself within the mirror? And then creating the perfect mirror. This image is the Vesica Pisces. And the Vesica Pisces is when, you know, uh, spirit decided to create and recreated itself and recreated a perfect mirror image of itself. Because I want to apologize about my dogs. My dogs keep thinking they hear my mom. And then, yes, somebody actually did come. So they knew, okay, somebody was coming. Now, the shape within the center that this the two spheres overlapping the mirror image of each other that spirit created when it was in creation and decided to recreate itself. That is represented, that sphere is the light. It also means the third eye, right? It's represented by a third eye. But the shape within it is the octahedron. The octahedron, that shape is one of the five platonic solids. It represents our heart. And like the actual electricity, the electric vibe that our heart gives off. And actually connecting to soulmates, connection to soulmates, but through self-love. This is all about self-love. And the Genesis pattern, this is all, you know, spirit creating again. The six days of creation. On, on the seventh day, spirit took a rest. And then we know there's the seed of life, right? And that's planting the seed. And this is all about where what are your intentions of if your intentions are of the heart which we know that that's what we're activating here of the heart then you have to trust that you're in universal flow and that what you're creating with is universal energies and that the universe has got your back follow the synchronicities the signs that's why it's number 11 right this is about trusting your path finding your way finding your way through the light and trusting the light now let's just get your message from the black moon. What is your message from the black moon? There it is. Uranus. Genesis. And there you go. Now Uranus it symbolizes the one who doesn't really need a partner, but is a soulmate to everyone. Hmm, and I really think that that is a message all in itself. Be a soulmate to yourself first, because that's what you're creating. You're creating a mirror. A mirror of yourself. So you need to be a soulmate if that's what you're trying, if you're looking for love here and your prosperity of your Ten of Cups. But this card is also about genius. Creating with your genius. But it is the tower card. This card is connected to the tower and the tarot. It is about and more enlightenment. It's also connected to humanitarian energy. Breaking the rules and established structures to create what's new. Through genius. Through innovation. Through technology. And that's where we're going advancing ourself for the greater good. I want to thank you for joining me here. I'll see you again soon. Take care.